Now that is how you stand the compressor up without breaking your back. Leverage. That's very well. Don't know how I'm going to get it in the workshop, but I'll find a way. Look at the size of that. That's a suction input. One and three quarter inches or two inches. That'd be one and three quarter, that'd be two or two and a quarter. Nice. Anywho. Well, I finally got the big bugger inside. And things shook the foundations when I put it down on the trolley. Got to be 200 kilos in there. This here is your uh, motor protector. It's got phase monitors to prevent against single or two phasing. And it's also, I think, got a thermistor or something in there to monitor the temperature of the windings. If the motor overheats or drops a phase, it will shut the machine down by the contactors. It'll open the main contactors. Looks like you've got power for the module plus your control, which will go to your contactor. I might pull that apart later on and just see how that works. Although I'll probably keep it as a whole unit, it might come in handy one day. This thing's smashed. I'm going to try and power it up anyway, I'll probably end up tripping the main circuit breaker, but we'll see if it makes some funny noises. Oil sight glass is alright. I'm going to have to drain it. Hold the S for oil, 302 FZ only. <laughs> Good way to get a lot of polyester oil. I don't think this thing's ever been opened, it was just dropped. Must have made a hell of a bang. I uh, bent these tags over and smashed the controls and everything. Yeah, there's a big dent. She took a hard hit. That's all for now. Nice little cover there. Oh, the lights didn't go out, so the big breaker didn't go. 